I'm hearing good things about Paxton Lynch. So what's the latest? Paxton Lynch is spending probably a total of six weeks in Denver as part of their uh, pre-training camp uh, uh, training program. That gives him an enormous advantage in preparation time over the way that a quarterback would come into the league 10, 15 years ago. They would go to a mini camp, they would go home, the contract would, would lapse, but he's uh, assiduously working on getting himself into that system as quickly as possible so he can be of value to the team. And the draft god smiled on us <laughs> on draft night because if you could uh, get over the fact that you weren't picked first or second, and if you could understand that whatever the bonus differential going lower yeah. against the backdrop of playing successfully for 10 or 15 years, you look for a team with a great offensive line, you look for a team with um, a great defense, a team that has a, a stable visionary ownership, they have a front office with a Hall of Fame quarterback who's now a Hall of Fame uh, executive and an uh, ex-quarterback as the head coach. So that's a situation where ultimately he's got a better chance for satisfaction than being with a struggling franchise. And the story about how you landed him is good. And it has a Steeler connection with Cordell. So um, David Lynch actually called our office in 2014. That's the way the relationship began. Now, you probably couldn't convince most agents that that actually happened because they spend all their time desperately trying to meet somebody. But David called, and the values matched up. Now, it happened that Paxton had a picture of Cordell Stewart in his room when he was growing up and had a picture of Cordell Stewart, the Pittsburgh Steeler quarterback, in his apartment at Memphis. So Cordell was able to talk to him. <laughs> Troy Aikman talked to the parents, and so we were able to, to give him mentors at an early age. But we didn't meet Paxton until far into the process. The key was, was the parents, David and Stacy, the brother, Evan, very close family unit, tremendous values, and um, so we sort of knew it was a match and then met Paxton later and loved him.